When do you think it started, folks? Washington's 106.7 WJFK. Here starts Ron and Fez. Okay, good. You're in for that, right? Ron and Fez. The big ass question of the night, Fuzzy. And this question has to be asked. What movie star, what celebrity should be banned for life from ever making another film? Now, as we've been going through these, Fezzi, we've been uh, picking up most of these on the IMDb. Uh, Billy, why don't you stay in here for a second? On the IMDb, if you look up the name Billy Staples, you will come up with our own Billy Staples. On the Internet Movie Database? Yeah. That's correct. Now, you made two movies, Day in Black and White uh -huh. and Use Your Head. Yeah, and there's actually, there's actually a third one, which uh, was never released. So was Give Your right. Head, the sequel. It's the Broccoli Theory. Have, wait a minute. Have the other two been released, Billy? Yeah, I have them on DVD. I have the one on DVD, actually. <laughs> the, now, be, that's a lend you that, but be careful. It's the only copy. Oh, okay. All right, now, as part of the IMDb, and you must be proud to be on that, right? Oh, very proud. It's yeah. My body of work is there for everyone to see. Yeah, yeah. and people read this all the time. <laughs> Your yeah. body of work's out of shape. <laughs> all right, Fuzzy, give me some kind of sad music or like, uh, or something um, profound, something nice and profound there. Oh, okay. Can you because, profound me up back there? You know, when you go through the IMDb, they also have the mini biography. Oh, really? okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I never put that in. And here is our own Billy Staples, and it says also known as Billy Hine. That is my original name. You uh, go by both names. <laughs> and this is true. If you like it, look it up. It's on the IMDb, the Internet Movie Database, used by the biggest stars in Hollywood. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, this is exciting. So your name is B. Hine? <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you think... Oh. <laughs> Fezzy, why laugh at him on, on the greatest day of his life? Fez, you're like, you're the first person who's ever thought of that. I've been hearing that since third grade. I was the first one to say it on the radio. That was all that counts. What happened to the kids in first and second grade? How did they miss that? I don't know. All right, here we go. It's the biography for Billy Staples. All right, for Billy Heineken. Born in Long Island, New York, <laughs> Hein was a five-letter athlete in high school. Nice. His father died in 1969 while on a fishing trip. What? His mother is a hot dog vendor at the Nassau <laughs> Coliseum on Long Island. He got the he got the nickname Billy Staples after having a stomach stapling surgery due to his morbid obesity. <laughs> he was a regular on the Opie and Anthony radio show, originally going by the nickname. Fat guy. In a little goat. He was founder of Air Six Air Sick Production, which produced parody songs for radio. An admitted alcoholic and drug addict. <laughs> he, I love fun facts. He has been through rehab seventeen times. Oh God, I'm dying here. He is twice divorced <laughs> with one daughter and currently lives in his mother's basement. <laughs> He is the phone screener slash intern for the Ron and Fez radio show and a sometimes stand-up comic. He previously worked as a bar bouncer and garbage man. <laughs> Till his morbid obesity took it all away. Gain notoriety for a complete mental collapse during a live stand-up show at the Count Basie Theater in Red Bank, New Jersey. I remember that! Staples, using the name Billy Hine, was the first guest on the John Edwards show. Oh, nice. He is Psychic. He is currently represented by Green Bee Management. Personal quotes. <laughs> I am at the point of my career where I am above open auditions. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Get that out of the IMDb. <laughs> so Hollywood knows where you stand. So that's you, Billy. Well, you don't see Tom Cruise going on open auditions. So you're happy... Tom Cruise isn't morbidly obese. <laughs> Neither am I anymore. You're happy with that? Uh... No, I think it needs a little tinkering. I don't know who put that up there. Well, it has the guy's name. Tom from Hoboken. 
Tom from uh, I might, Tom, you know, if you get a chance, maybe we could uh, <laughs> reword it just a tad. I, you, it's perfect. You might like this though, Billy. He also has your height at five ten. Oh, I'm tall. Nice. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> He forgot the part where you molested the girl passed out in the back seat of your don't car. Give Fred, don't give him any ideas, okay? First, I mean, how do you get the post? I will say this. I don't know how they I do it. The but somebody, do do that? somebody sent me that, and I sat here because I use IMDb uh, all the time. Number one, I'm dumbfounded that you're in it. I'm going to puke. And number two, no other Hollywood actor would ever say he lives in his mother's basement. <laughs> You're on to something well, Ron, with that. The whole thing is, I'm not a Hollywood actor yet. I'm a New York actor. Oh, excuse me. I uh, am above living above ground. <laughs> Look, there is some fact in there. Obviously, he took it's a so little... Fat. Fat. He took some liberties with things about, you know, with the... The 510 uh, is about it. <laughs> Why would they bring up where his mom works? No one ever says where Robert De Niro's bomb works. <laughs> Most of the people in the IMDb are taking care of their parents and have them living comfortably. Uh, he really does. He has his mom live upstairs from him. Oh, no. Right upstairs. Ground level. No, it just needs a little tweaking. Um, I you got to get a headshot. Yeah, they didn't put in the part where you tweak the girl who was passed out in the back seat of your car. All right, that is not going up. Oh, there, okay. But I mean, if I you guess look... you're not in charge of what goes up and what doesn't, right? Now I know how Michael Jackson feels when they leave out the back. <laughs> Somebody put in Billy Staples because I was never in his Billy Staples before. You're in his both. You're in his morbidly obese. Well, I was, and I admit that. Well, that's good, and that's all part of it. My doctor's website was morbidobesity.com, so, I mean, I was in the right place. Really? Yeah. That's how I found it. Oh, good. But, you know, I mean, 17 rehabs is a stretch. There's only been five. And, you know, the other thing of uh, gain notoriety for complete mental collapse. <laughs> that was you! It wasn't complete. I just needed to You ran off to oh. Pennsylvania for a week. You stole a rental car and ran to the Poconos. Emotional retardation. You stink. You stink. You stink. You stink. Oh, God, I'm so happy. I want you to know I did eventually pay for that rental car, and there were no charges. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Hey, look, I'm on the INDB. A lot of people in Hollywood and New York have past problems. Right. They're behind me. But, but they don't post don't... them. <laughs> Not in their biography, part of their bio. Well, I mean, I have my own bio that I wrote, and I. What are your eight by tens? Your mugshot? No, it, and my bio that I wrote sounds nothing like this. I will say this: Tom from Hoboken is my new favorite writer. I love him so. He really knows Hollywood. I would love to meet the talk to this Tom from Hoboken. Does anybody know if you know him out there? Or? <laughs> I would love to talk to him, too. What are you going to do? Hunt him down, Zaddix? Look at you. You're so slurry. I, you can't even stand up. I like you're leaning find... over. You're so high. I'd like to find Tom from Hoboken and buy him lunch. No, I'd just like to go over a rewrite. You know, a couple of <laughs> points there to uh, straighten out. First off, the no, molestation it... charges? No, that would I, not I, be in I think Tom from Hoboken may be on RonFez.net. Oh, God. And he was at the party the other night. He's brought me such joy. He was at the Hard Rock party. So we'll send a... Uh, a, make a limo. Sure, yeah, make sure the link goes up on RonFez.net. No, yeah, let them look for it. Let them go to IMDB. You know? Why? We'll make it easy on them. Make it easy for everybody. And then, you know, Tom from Hoboken... Spirit Award tonight, Fezzy. Yeah, Ron Fez Spirit, Spirit Award. Award. Nice. I think... Um, I'll be getting in touch with the IMDb pe people about You know what they'll do? They'll pull you completely off, Billy. Yeah, you can't start yeah. bitching about their stuff. You know, they did that to Al Pacino. He started to complain about something. Right. Boom, he's done. I, I think Al Pacino might still be up there, Ron. Yeah. No? Yeah, but I it, mean, if this... It goes right to Anthony Perkins. If there's a couple of <laughs> nice. He's so good with the alphabet. <laughs> You're so high, Billy. You don't know what you're saying. Luckily, this would have been a shock to your system if we hadn't given you the da daily Xanax. Rory, print that out on nice paper and have it framed and mounted for well, What are you going to do, blow it up for my birthday gift again? Is that what this is going to be? how next, high he next, is. What are you so mad about? Next to my red bag picture. Can you hear how high he is? Last year for Billy's birthday, I blew up the uh, the critique. The where review. He, the review. 
of his red bank disaster. I had it blown up poster size for him to put up in the office. And we will play it for you guys one night. It's the worst stand-up show anybody's ever been part of. Trust the me, it crowd, doesn't last long. The crowd turned on him. Well, I would like, you know, hopefully you know, in Washington I'll be getting a chance to perform live for these people and prove myself once and for all. Oh, God, i got to write down some of my favorite parts. Morbidly obese. <laughs> 17 rehabs. Hot dog vendor. No, my mom is not a hot dog vendor. She's a concessionaire. She gets them away? She's a concessionaire. Also, why bring up whether your dad died in 69 on a fishing trip? <laughs> Whose business is that? That way well, it gets the sympathy vote in Hollywood. But this is the whole thing. It wasn't a fishing trip. <laughs> Again, a falsehood. I was fishing. <laughs> My dad happened to be on the beach and suffered a massive heart attack. Just because you're having a sardine sandwich doesn't make you fishing. No, I was fishing. And even if Tom wrote this up, <laughs> Boston Bulls, why would they just print this? And you know what? When I <laughs> I know, they just you couldn't write that up about Marlon Brando and right. just turn it in. But no, because there's a screening process. They have to read this stuff first before they just post it and verify it. I'll verify every word of it. No, you won't, because it's not all true. Just because you're laughing doesn't make it true. I'll give it my seal of approval. Oh, God. That's the greatest thing ever. All right, we uh, will get back to our contest now, Fezzi. And congratulations to you, Billy. I had no idea. You were well, so well known. Well, you know what? There were, Hollywood people will look at that, and I will send my picture there. I'll get my new headshot there, which will not show me as morbidly obese, and my mom <laughs> will not mean the picture. Uh, you know? Fezzi, I can't listen to him slur on Xanax all night. He's so high. He's just out of it. And that would have to be a satellite photo of your head for you not to look morbidly obese. All right, Fezzi, um, the IMDB with our own Billy Staples on it, which, let's face it, uh, we're a little bit jealous of that. Oh, sure. Billy Staples, he's, he's had a film career, and he's listed on IMDb. That, of course, is the Internet Movie Database. Dot com. He's even got a bio up there. Yeah, if you've ever wanted to do that. Well, they've updated his bio, Fez. Really? And it's got a picture. Oh, nice. Okay. So come on over and uh, take a good look. i got to see this. On our own Billy Staples, which you can get to by going to uh, Internet Movie Database, the IMDb. <laughs> And here it's, uh, here's the pictures of it now. He just sent this to me. It says, not wanted, Billy Hine, a.k.a. Billy Staples, a.k.a. Fatty Fatterton. <laughs> Why is that an a.k.a., also known as? <laughs> is not wanted for any acting jobs, stand-up jobs, or babysitting jobs. <laughs> if you encounter Mr. Hine, do not approach. Immediately hide all candy bars, hamburgers, cakes, and sugar packets. He is presuming he is presumed to be morbidly obese and pitifully intoxicated. <laughs> if seen, contact your animal local animal control or or Billy's manager at Sacco Green Cheese at one eight hundred failure. All right, now Billy, why why would you put this up on your IMDb bio? Why is this part of it, Fatty Fatterton? Let me just state unequivocally for the record, if I may, that has nothing to do with me. I had nothing to do with that, and the fact that that's... Your agent? Uh, no, of course not. My, my manager, Seth, would never do that. That's not going to help me get work. Did he give you the stage name, Fatty Fatterton? No, I believe that that started here. <laughs> right, well, you tell Seth Green Cheese. No, it's Greenkey. Oh, green key. Oh, that's green, green key. key. I'm just going by your internet movie database. No, 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 no. That that has got to be changed. That that I will take care of. I don't want to be have a wanted picture next to my movie career. And I don't even know what this is. It's not the normal part. You just hit something else on that page. Your page goes on and on now. Well, I you got pages. Yeah, and I don't know how that's happening. Uh, it's you know I haven't done any it's this more guy, work. Tom. Well, one of the things that he's got down for you is that other movie that you said you weren't even in. No, the where gay played, comedian? Yeah, where you played no. a gay comedian. No, I was not a gay comedian. Sounds like a good movie, though. Yeah. I wanted to buy it as soon as I read it. I want to get all the Fatty Fatterton movies. Well, I want you should, the whole trilogy. Well, my A Day in Black and White is available on DVD. You can get that one. You know a what Day you with would, a Black and White Cookie. You know what you want to do? Grow your beard a little bit and play the Michael Moore story. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not liked. A lot of people don't He's like him. huge. Well, yeah, but nobody likes him. 
He, he's got the best-selling book of like the last couple of years or something crazy. Now he's whining about the Oscars that he's not going to win because everyone's not seeing all the documentaries. No one ever sees all the documentaries. Who's ever seen all the documentaries? I'd rather be a Harvey Weinstein or something. You know, grow, you know, cut my hair a little shorter. That'd be a Harvey Firestein. Is that so wrong? Now, why on this IMDb, why is your press photo, your lawsuit photo, where it was the day you fell down the stairs and your face is all smashed up and you took those really extreme close-up shots to prove your lawsuit that your face was injured? Well, first off, I fell up the stairs. All right. So falling down would be idiotic. I fell up the stairs. And, yes, those were my files for my legal case, which I won. Okay, now, how they got a hold of them, I believe they were only up on the web temporarily. Billy, Dom DeLuise on line three, he wants you to play his father in a new film coming wow! out. Wow! Captain Chaos Sr. He wants you to play Tom DeLuise. <laughs> no, I don't You're know. You're back, fatty. I can't play Dom DeLuise. Dom DeLuise is, like, old. I couldn't play his father. I could play one of his sons, probably. Let me see. Well. He says, according to this, he graduated in class of 76. <laughs> <laughs> Siblings, maybe. But he's still alive, has he? He's still alive. It's amazing. When did this uh, just get up? This is news to I, me. I, I just got, had it mailed to me. No, this is... I'm that Tom guy again. I've been, so he's the guy who does it. I've been trying with to work with IMDB to get some verification. <laughs> I've, I've been corresponding with them. What? I've been sending them emails trying to get some clarification on where these fake, you know, information is coming from. Because it's hard to Wait tell. Wait a minute, let me guess. Someone else isn't returning your phone calls? He said that it's already had 800 hits without him even putting it on ronfez.net. Well, where's he getting the hits in on... The, the people who just go uh, through IMDb themselves, because I go, I couldn't get the one picture. He said, the Billy's picture's up. I said, it wasn't there. And he goes, here, click on this. It's already had 800 hits since the other day. Uh, and I guess you're becoming somewhat of a legend. This is not a bad PR move. Well, but it's not really uh, I know. representative of who I am and what I am. Well, let me tell you, my friend, I talk with... Um, Lucas Films, they're shooting a TV version, a TV show, yeah. a spin off of Jabba the Hutt. Oh, yeah? Called Make Room for Hutt. <laughs> Pizza Hut's already interested in sponsoring. Nice. You fit the suit. Oh, this could be it, Mr. Like, Batterton. Like Johnny Bravo, you fit the suit. Let me just go on record as saying I only gained 22 pounds. Hey, nobody Not, said that. You know, I the mean, stapling. Hey, stop bragging. No, I mean, just, no, stop your bragging. Yes, we. Yeah. You don't have to read your bio to us, big man. We're with you. We I'm, understand. A lot of you actors have to bulk up for your parts. Well, yes, but I'm still not going to fit into a hut, a hut suit. <laughs> no, you'll actually be wearing a hut like a Gilligan's Island. Are you allergic to straw? No. All right, call us back. All right. You ought to thank this, Tom. Look at the stuff he's getting you. Know, you. Yeah. A never... lot of Hollywood types look at this IMDb. He's done more for you than Green Cheese has. No, matter of fact, I talked to Mr. Green Key today, and, it's, you know, he's working on stuff. What's me. he got? What's he got brewing? Uh, nothing. He's just submitted me for a few things. Well, anything yeah. we should know about? Uh, not yet. Are you find about your Psychological urinary... testing, one of them? But he does not Are you know... find about your urinary test you're doing no, this week? tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. What, what's the problem, Billy? Uh, no Blood problem. Urine? What's wrong no. with the Winky? No, the Winky just needs a checkup. Something wrong? I don't know. Did you get know? a knot in it? No. It's a... When's the last time you got wood? <laughs> what? When's the last time you got wood? The last time I batched. Who was president? Just me. <laughs> Just oh, you. You oh, were who president? Was president? I thought you said who was president. Oh, yeah, Billy Land. <laughs> <laughs> president Fatterton. <laughs> Stop with Fatterton. That hurts his feelings. <laughs> That's on the IMDb. I thought it was an alias. <laughs> no. I can't believe everything. <laughs> You can't believe everything out of the press. All right, Billy, let me uh, ax you, as you say. I don't streets. say ax. <laughs> I'm not street. Tell us what your uh, what Green Cheese says lined up. What's next? Oh, nothing. He just needs some uh, some additional um, information samples. from me. You know. he, he had you uh, screen test as a uh, pedophile, remember? Yeah. What yeah. show was that? That was for NYPD. That wasn't a show. No, no. <laughs> He just made him come over and touch a kid. He gave him fifty dollars for it. That's he not he right, considers right. police lineups auditions. Yeah, you should, yeah, I know it's not right. You should get hundred. <laughs> that was for NYPD Blue, actually. Turn to the left. Turn to the right. <laughs> All right here's your fitty. I'd love to meet a lineup where I don't actually get picked. I mean, that Has would that be ever happened yet? No. <laughs> I'd love to. That would. Lo I'd love to be the guy that they're not looking for. 
He was actually, and during the lineup, he was doing lines. That's how crazy he is. <laughs> he was in the Khalid Sheikh Mohammed lineup. And they brought him. Is this the terrorist? Should have been Hawk next to him. <laughs> No, I mean, my manager had nothing to do with this IMDb. I don't even think he I know, your manager it. does nothing for you. This Mr. Green Jeans, he hasn't done anything since the Captain Kangaroo show. Green Key. He's just sitting there typing out things on his piano. <laughs> no, okay, that's, that's the data process. By the way, he called me the other day and said he heard about that. How did he hear about it? Somebody said they must have heard the, the show. Is and it on IMDb? Mentioned it to him. That's where I get all my stuff. No, it's not on IMDb, and I should add him on here. It says, it says there's a place for management contact. Yeah, there. exactly. He wants to be associated with Fatty Fatterton. They have him down as Joey Jordan. <laughs> Your management team. Give me a car. Start of David Productions. <laughs> it's Green Key Management. And just because his, his, his religion has nothing to do with the fact there's a lot of Jewish people in show business. Hey, so he's just one of them. Smart. That's oh, yeah. smart. Oh, yeah. You made the smart move. Oh, yeah. How long have you been your manager? Since uh, last December. And Maybe how many and TV half. gigs has he got you? Uh, all together? Movie, uh, many yeah. movie gigs? Uh, a lot of auditions. I have, I have, yet. He's got them for me. I have not booked them. Let me ask you this. When's he going to cut you loose, cut his losses? I have a year and a half to go. Wow. When now, he... who pays for the pictures, you or him? I do. <laughs> I, have to, I have to get new pictures as soon as this thing on my chin goes away. I can't get pictures with this growth. Really, that growth on your chin is keeping you out of work. I can't book you. I thought Pussack was your co-star. No, no. At the end of, at the bottom of those IMDb bios, you can type in where you can see if two stars perform together. Just type in Pussack and Fatty Fatterton and see what comes up. Billy, bad news. Uh, the movie fell through. The good news is, I got a weekend for Pussack up in the Catskills at the Pines. <laughs> Here's the beauty of it. 5.35 a show and meals. What does Pussack have to do? Put, put Pussack on the phone with me, please. <laughs> Hello? Pussy. Yes! <laughs> Listen, I can't talk. Billy's listening. Are you keeping that Pussack or not? No, I just finished. Why are you so, rent it out as a pinata for children? No, I want to get rid of it. I don't want to rent it out. It's not Fill a... that with the Reese's Pieces. Look what it looks like. It ruins my whole look. You know, I have a distinct look, a style, you know, but you can't walk around with this pus sack, as you call it, hanging out from under your chin, and I can't grow a beard because the hair doesn't grow through it. Ew. Yeah, and it's hair like... can't grow through, through, through pus, has he? <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I've taken a, a, a huge bottle load of <laughs> antibiotics, which is supposed to help it. Are and your antibiotics called Xanax? No, they're Why don't you try complex. shaving harder? I, I said that to my doctor. Take a plane to it. I said that to my doctor. I said I was, I was making sure I shaved every day to try to shave it off. He goes, that will never happen because it grows from the inside. So he says he thinks it's an infected cyst. So I'm, hopefully he'll just stick a needle in it or a lamp. Hey, a cyst, that's a sister. You, leave, you, you had leave a twin, you didn't know about it. You've been carrying a twin around in your chin. You leave the leg and assist. Not tomorrow. <laughs> that's good. Thanks. Just I'll assist. At five pounds. I think what happened is uh, one of those molars you lost got lodged down there underneath your chin. I didn't lose any molars. I have all my... This, I you have, have all, all your teeth. teeth. Yeah. I well, know. No, just... no. I, they were pulled. They weren't, you know, moved. <laughs> he has his molar substitutes. Now, uh, that thing on your chin is looking more and more like Mike, Mike Piazza every day. I don't even understand why. It even has the mustache. Yeah, Let me talk to Pussack and see if he wants to go on the road. Not to bring Billy? Yes, Seth Green Cheese, Green Cheese Management. <laughs> How are you? What? You son of a bitch. Why do you talk to my manager, Green Cheese? You're not going to have this Pussack to push around anymore. Billy, would you mind opening for your Pussack? <laughs> I need you to do 15 minutes, Pussack to do an hour 12. <laughs> And see if you can get Harry Elvis to do three rants in a row. I just want you to know by tomorrow, my urinologist. Thursday, I have my staple doctor. And then Friday, back for the pus sack. So. Wow, what a busy week, huh? Finally, you're booked. Yeah. Finally, you got some bookings. And no fitting in the dentist to see if that's a loose tooth in your pus sack. No, I have that, they haven't you, x-rayed it yet. Weren't you diagnosed as bimolar? That you only have two left? No, I have. Well, I, I've only had three teeth pulled in the past. Cause... All by his pus sack. What's wrong with the urinary tract? You find some blood in it? No, not that I've noticed. 
What's the problem? Well, what, there's no, the, you don't just go to the urologist. Well, I guess he wants to, I'm um, at the testicular cancer age or something. Okay, so it's just a regular thing. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing you found? No. You, you sure? look so nervous. Well, I would be nervous. That's the... That's the boys, you know. Are you going to the urologist because your sack is now on your chin instead of where it's supposed no. to be? My sack is exactly where it belongs. Okay. My, <laughs> With my, Seth Green sheet. My sack has not changed. As you get older, your sack doesn't grow go up north. Stop it. Stop it. No, it's just Stop a... It. Uh, uh, hopefully just a checkup. Hopefully you don't find anything. But you called and said, I'm worried. Yeah. I mean, it's... Down some. Well, you know, it just it doesn't feel normal. Oh, God. You want me to take a look at it? Sure, you want it? No. Okay. Are you having trouble going? No, not at all. Like you feel like you got to go and you can't? What feels abnormal about it? Oh, no, the prostate's fine. The prostate's fine. I got no problem there. Well, what, are you burning? No, 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 no VD there. You'd have to have sex for that. Then what's the weird feeling? It just doesn't feel right in my hands. Uh, it feels lumpy? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, God. No so, nervous wreck, man. Yeah, well, you know, it's one of those things. You know, you get to be a certain age. All right, know. all right, I understand. Stop if, talking it up. This should not even be on the radio. No, it I, feels like one of those churros you get at state fairs. Call Rory as soon as you're out of there. Tell him whether you're okay or not. I'm now I'm nervous. All right, that's tomorrow? Yeah, 8 a.m. All right, you call immediately. Okay. Don't all right. call my house at all. Rory, don't you either. You call Fez. Fez, eventually sometime afternoon. Leave a note outside my home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna get the information to Seth Green Cheese, who will Drinking. who will send it out on that piano combination TV set he calls a computer. <laughs> I want you to know Seth has two computers. The the piano, yeah. the piano is not in the office. The piano is in one the of those computers room. is a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let me go over and see if my pie pie is dead out of my computer. <laughs> So. I just downloaded a burrito. <laughs> we got a break. Howard Stern, Don and Mike, Bill O'Reilly, Ron and Paz, and the Washington Redskins. 106.7 WJFK.